Welcome back to Tractor Doctor TV. Today, guys, we're going to go over how, I guess, how I stack hay. Okay, okay guys, so today I'm doing, I'm un unloading the stock trailer full of hay because I got, on um, here in a few days, I got, um, I think, what is that? YouTube channel um, Ames Family Farms or something like that out of Oklahoma. I have, as I would say, I have two uh, withers going to Walker Camp. I kind of like that idea of calling it that. Um, so I got to clean all the hay out of the trailer, which. Uh, what are you doing, camera? Okay. I'm going to roll you guys, maybe. So, anyways, guys, I got to. Get the hay, we stack the hay in the trailer, keep it dry, I mean, stock trailer, roof, it'll keep it mostly dry, there's some stuff that got a little wet, like that bell down here, that one got wet-ish, the ends, I don't know, it's showing up very well on the camera, it don't look like it on my side, um, it's got a little wet, but it's not, like it's set out in the rain, it's not like Dad's straw over there that was beautiful and golden and now it's eh which is fine for mulch but guys I've started stacking it and I've already seen I've made a mistake I should have should have stacked across the back so how I'm doing this is as you can see it's I went from standing at looking at it here if I can get the camera to focus Looking at it, it went from left to right, and now I'm going on the back side, left to right. And then, then the next ones, I will start across here. And then I'm just going to go, uh, go until uh, all the hay is out, which is a few bales that I'm not too excited about, because <laughs> really good bales. Uh, the young man, I, Dad and I bought these off at the cell barn out at, at South Hutch. And the ge young gentleman was telling me that they were in a hurry to get it off because we were supposed to get a rainstorm. So they upped the baler to where they're like 80 to 100 pound bales. And those are the bales I got left to stack. So um, I think I'm going to like tape you guys to one of the side poles so you can watch me work myself to death, sweat to death, because it's kind of sticky today. Um, the barrels. And... and then from there, guys, I think I'm going to take you guys and kind of explain at the, towards the end of the video the whole lift pump situation. Um, the video I had originally done, the footage was not good, very good. Um, I couldn't keep, seem to keep the thing in focus. I had to set you in my coffee mug because I can't find the little itty bitty baby, um, uh, tripod. So, uh, I'm going to stop for a minute and get the camera set up. Like I said, I can't find my baby tripod. So I'm just going to have some electrical tape. I'm going to tape you to, to one of the poles here and see if I can get it set up so you guys can see what I'm up to. Uh... Give me a minute. And away we go. Cracking hay. And then we're gonna I'm gonna do some other video stuff. These are the ones that suck. Yeah, it's 
So guys, now I got the, the second level on. What I'm going to do now is just back two. I'm going to set a bell on each, set the bells across those. And then just reverse the pot process. So I'll put two, two across the front, long lengthwise. So those will be the next ones I stack on top of. I keep going until we get them all, which we're really close. The only downside I have right now is a stacking on some pallets, which the back pallet on this side and the facing the pile, the left side, the left hand side, is kind of broken. So it's not it's not uh, letting me stack very well. Oh, no, live text message. Okay. So, guys, I think what I'm going to do, I hope I can, you can see what I'm up to. I don't think you can. I think I should be over some more. But uh, that's kind of what I'm doing. Stack, I'm stacking them, alternating which way they go this way and which way they go this way and such. So, see if I can free you guys real quick here. Right, so, so guys, this one got done in here. And I'm going to continue that until I'm done. I, I thought about maybe kind of offering that, offering you guys that information. Um, hold on. This information of how to stack them. And the reason I hate these things right now is that these here, there, they're wire tied, these bigger bells, these last few bells. And uh, like I said, the guy said he was chased, being chased by rain. So they wanted to make sure they got it all bailed up and loaded up and out of the field and in the shed before it rained. So that is the deal with this. Um, I think I'm gonna cut here and the next time you see me, we will be over at the uh, Massey. Okay guys, so here we are at the Massey. So I'm gonna, for, to understand what went wrong, I need to walk you guys 100% 100% through how this works. So this little thing here, where my finger is at, that little, there is a pump. So that pump there will pull the fuel from here from the tank through this line here into this filter, which is a primary filter. It gets the larger stuff. Then it comes down to the line that goes into this pump, little sucker here. Well, on the back side of this, there is a gear, because that is a gear pump. It is, it's a gear pump. There's a, there's a gear here, there's a gear up inside, on this side and that side. So it pulls the fuel in this side, pushes across, out this side, goes from there, comes through this bracket here, this bracket here, which holds this pump, this filter here. So it pushes it in the bottom, 
into that through that valve thingy there into the bottom. That pushes it up through into this hose here into the head. Well, that's seized up. The shaft, the main shaft, the shaft that runs that little the pump, that pump has seized up. Um, I had some footage of me taking it apart, but it was not good. I had I struggled because like I like I said I don't have a, a tripod in it. You can't find my tripod. So that is why the gentleman I bought it from uh, father-in-law was out running the thing and it decided to just what is it doing okay that should be better guys anyways yay anyways guys so that that's what's going on with this thing that pump went it in a rye um, I'm gonna reach out to you guys do you guys know any place that ha has would have something like that this is a Bosch is a P P S B four A dash eighty B dash twenty three eighty six B is type. Is that's the type of pump that is? Does anybody knows where a guy can get bits and pieces and parts? There's the diesel guys that I've, I've been talking with in Hutch. They have been super helpful. Um, they said they probably could get me some of the parts. But I like to, to do a little shopping around before I do that. But um, I think the next thing after I get the ceiling at the pump to pump is go ahead and... Uh, well, I, I think maybe the smartest thing to do is go ahead and do... Like they, they were suggesting... Uh, pull the, the, the four injectors out, bring them in, make sure they're firing correctly, get them cleaned up, and then this thing, sh knock on wood, should run. Which will bring us to the beginning of that project, which I'm excited for. And we can get this thing. I wish the guy didn't split it. Started to split it. You can see where the guy had split it. I don't know if he took it apart and was getting ready to go back together, took it apart, I was trying to get it apart. Uh, the radiator is just sitting, kind of sitting in place. This bolt is about all that's holding it on this side. And we'll walk around here. Ooh. Note where that is. By the, because I'll need that later to go get my uh, hay bind I bought from Crazy D. So if he didn't pull that off, I mean, hell, it's the same thing on this side, that bolt and that bolt. And I think I could just flop the, that off. And the reason, guys, I'm asked if anybody knew when there was, was one, it's cracked. It's busted up here. It's busted, chipped out, busted off over here. I, I, if I'm going to restore it proper, I want, it, I want it to look really nice when I'm done. I just don't want to do a DuPont restoration. I don't want to throw some paint on I'm chipped up broken up parts I'd rather I'm gonna throw paint at it I want it to look to be like it's rolled out out off of, out of the water loop loop plant um, if anybody in Western Kansas would happen to know what uh, Davis implement company of I'm not sure. Cimarron, Kansas. There's a little, their little sicker, their little decal that they used look like. Anybody happen to have that and know that information? I'd highly appreciate it because I like to find that information. I found a company that would print me a few stickers for that, uh, for me for, on that. And I like to restore it all the way back to what it like it was when it rolled out the dealership. That'd be really, really cool. Um, otherwise, guys, I'm going to go back to stacking hay, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.